saludito mi gente de Lucha Libre Online. Esta que les habla es Isa, la Demon Diva, y hoy me encuentro acompañada de role model, Bailey. What am I? I'm low-key fangirling right now. I hope oh. you know that. Oh, thank you so much. I never, I never had the opportunity to interview you. Really? Yeah. After all these years, are you always at these? Yes. Oh, so it's not me. It's, it's like, a special it's a thing, you okay. know? Yeah. It, it was meant to be. It was meant yeah. to be. <laughs> Let me ask you. I, your entire career, the other day was like, what, the seventh or eighth year anniversary of your main roster debut in Brooklyn? Remember that? A, yeah, I don't know how long it's been, but it's been a long time. I believe it was yeah. seven or eight years, seven, okay. seven. Um, let's talk about that. If you were to write a chap, like a book, mm -hmm. from your main roster debut, because NXT should be a book on its own, yeah. <laughs> what would be your favorite chapter in the main roster? The role model chapter, the, the damage control chapter, what, the hugger, what would it be? Um, that is very hard. I, the, my first answer, I think, is a weird one, but it would be the during the pandemic. Yeah. Because scary, I scary. felt very in control. Right. I felt in control of uh, myself in the ring and um, the stories we were telling. And it was just so hard. It was hard. Like, that seemed like an impossible time to make any good TV or any good... WWE show like what because we rely so much on our fans or 95% of what we do you know if mm -hmm. not more so um, I'm very proud of that because we were able to do so much I was a double champion Bailey dose straps you know I was I had so many fun matches um, that are still very memorable to me mm -hmm. without anybody the relationship with Michael Cole grew you know like there's some good stuff that came out of there Um, as much fun as I had in damage control, you know, those are special just because it seemed impossible. Well, honestly, you and Sasha Carey, the pandemic and the Thunderdome era, thank you. Yeah. We, from, on behalf of all of us, thank you. Now, speaking of that era and the new era, we have a lot of, like, weird things happening, Forbidden Door, TNAs, all these things. Do you have a match that you wish could be booked right now from anybody anywhere? That's, you know, a, that's a good one. Really yeah. Out there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody keeps bringing up Jordan Grace just because she she's awesome. You know, she did great in the Rumble. Uh, it was fun to watch her go. Um, and, and I really appreciate the way she carries herself in the locker room. Right. So that showed me a lot just at Rumble. Then watching her stuff with Roxanne, I believe they should have been the main event. That's not a knock on the main event just because they killed it. And it was a very special match. Um, I feel like that's probably one of the easiest ones that we can make happen on a, on a, a main Raw or SmackDown type show, you know? Uh, and it's just the top of my head. So basically, when you retain your championship at SummerSlam, we can, right, we can go down to NXT, talk to Shawn Michaels. He's been cooking that. I think we can make it Yeah, happen. yeah, I think so too, actually. And I, I have his phone number. I might have to text him after this. I wanted to go to the, to the show, to the pay-per-view with Roxanne and, and Jordan because I wanted to be there. I thought that would be really cool to be able to represent and to um, watch live. Mm -hmm. Then I got sick, so I couldn't go. Oh, are you feeling better? I'm, oh, that was a long time ago, so yes. <laughs> Now let's talk about your match coming up with SummerSlam. I feel like you should be prepared for everything because you held the briefcase, so you know what Tiffany should be thinking right. about, and you have long history with Nia Jax. How are you feeling? Are you calm? Are you ready for what's coming? Do you have a new strategy? Um, well, yeah, I'm weirdly calm. I think I just feel very confident right now these days, uh, but I... I did the same situation and scenario last year with EO, you know, so I know how it works. I know all the, their little tricks that they might be thinking and whatever they're thinking, I'm thinking more, you know, whatever experience they think they have together, I have more. So they can throw whatever they want at me, but I got everything in my head. I'm ready. I got my head on a swivel. I got spider eyes around my head. Um, they're not going to get through to me. Well, I'm Team Bailey. I want to thank you so much for your time. It was an honor interviewing you. You're one of my favorites from all time. So thank you. Thank you. En español, nadie lo hace mejor.